Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, I'm just sitting here drinking my morning coffee, getting ready to keep my breakfast, do some squatting, and I thought I would give you guys an informative video. But again, let me prove, because I've been accused of fake sipping my coffee. The numerous people, you guys can see that is coffee in there, not water. Uh, another little side thing that came up, some people accused me of using a hook grip to hold on to this enormous coffee cup, saying it's cheating, I'm not really doing an overhand. But if you guys look, I have a, a curved handle so that allows me to grip this really heavy coffee cup with an overhand grip without using a hook. So just making that clear, I don't want anyone to think that I'm cheating on that or that I'm lifting fake weight here or anything. This cup weighs less than one pound. I'm just going to be transparent. Uh, I mean, at most, this is a pound, a pound with a maybe two. Who knows? I'll make no claims to the weight so we don't get accused of fake weights there. But on to the topic of strength training. I want to talk with you guys a little bit about the psychological aspects and benefits of strength training. Um, and it's it's something that I've learned over the years. I've heard a lot of other people out there talk about, coaches talk about. And I think it comes down to what the guys over at Barbell Logic, if you guys have ever seen their podcast with Matt Reynolds, uh, they talk about voluntary hardship. And they talk about this based upon their own ideas of Western civilization because those guys also promote like a book reading club involving reading all the great literary works uh, of, the, of Western civilization uh, going all the way back to ancient Greek philosophy. They're really big on that. But they talk about the concept of voluntary hardship. And I really, really like that concept because that's what we're talking about here. And there is a certain psychological element that comes with getting under a heavy barbell and working towards long-term strength goals uh, that builds a different outlook on yourself. And what they talk about is what they used to call uh, the Protestant work ethic. It's, they say is kind of uh, one idea of this voluntary hardship thing. And that is the concept that hard work towards a goal has intrinsic value to the person beyond the immediate uh, thing to be gleaned from. In other words, yes, hard work can net you money. Hard work can net you more strength. Hard work can do a lot of things for you, but the fact itself, the actual act of hard work towards a meaningful goal is character building to the individual and it builds a sense of self-worth and self-value. And one of the things that you find under the barbell, when you get under a heavy barbell, and anyone who's done long-term heavy barbell strength training, uh, you develop a different outlook. It teaches you a lot about yourself. It teaches you about your limits, and it teaches you that with hard work, you can sometimes achieve things that you never thought possible. It's like I said yesterday in my training video, a lot of people found it really motivational in my workout video yesterday when I talked about the fact that for me, perfect example, uh, bench press is not necessarily my favorite lift. I'm big on the, the full body barbell movements, but for me early on, uh, the bench press was a perfect example. Uh, I am not a gifted bench presser. I'm not a gifted bench presser. I started with a 65 pound bench press. Right now, I'm still not anywhere near the strongest I've been, even on this channel. Several years ago, I was benching more than I do now, but I bench 315 closed grip pause every day, or at least six days a week. That's, that's my daily working number that I work with, uh, pretty much day in, day out for my Bulgarian style training. And for me, the 315 is a funny number because for me, uh, it took me a while to get to one plate aside. That was a major milestone for me. I had to train and train and train and train benching like sometimes five days a week because again I didn't have a structured program to get from the 135 to 225 and when I got to 225 I saw some power lifters or I saw a power lifter pause benching 315 for work sets and it blew my mind because I was thinking look how much work I put in right look how much work I put in and that guy is doing that it's impossible I, I just don't see how a person and that's how i felt back then as, as a novice lifter still i was barely out of the novice phase you know to hit 225 uh, i was barely out of the novice phase and when i saw that uh, i was just like how did he do that look how much work i've had to put in and the 225 feels so heavy this is like my, my best lifetime bench so far it took me an enormous amount of work to get that from one plate to side to two plates to side I'm like, how does someone get to three plates? That's just impossible. I'll never be, I can never see myself doing that. 
well, within another year and a half, I was doing that, you know? And that's the funny thing about it. We get under the barbell and we learn things about ourselves. We learn <clears throat> that with consistent hard work towards a goal, careful planning and hard work, we can reach strength levels and do things that we didn't think we would be ever able to do. And you need to remember, every guy you see out there who's squatting 500 pounds, 600 pounds, who's benching 300, benching 400, <clears throat> they started somewhere. They may have started where you are. They may have started where you started. They might have started better. They might have started worse. But the point is that working towards a goal like that teaches you a lot about yourself. It teaches you what you are capable of, and it teaches you a certain amount of discipline and investing in yourself. That Investing a consistent amount of hard work towards a goal, towards with an overall plan, makes you stronger. It will make you stronger physically. And that strength carries over to an enormous number of different things. I mean, in general, strong people are generally more useful than weak people. You become a strong person, you will find that people generally find you more useful. You're the person they come to and they need anything moved. Um, some people might even look to you for protection. It's going to depend on your social circles and situation. You're more valuable as a person through strength training. And you get strong by applying consistent hard work to yourself. And that's the other thing, you know, you become a more valued person to others oftentimes simply because you are stronger. It can be anything from people say, hey, you know, could you help me with this? I need this lifted, move my furniture. You're the person who gets called for that stuff. And people say, well, that's, I don't want that. Well, look at it this way though. Not only does it make you a better person, it makes you stronger, it makes you more valuable to society and your social circles just for the fear, mere fact of having that strength. It makes you more valuable. And it, the whole point of that is that it teaches a certain amount of character. It teaches you a sense of self-worth and a sense of self-value because you are taking the time to invest in yourself to make yourself a better person in multiple aspects of your life. And it can carry over to other things. That hard exertion involved, yes, it can be therapeutic for some people. It can be a way for some people to deal with their PTSD, with their anxiety, with their anger issues. All of that... But at the end of the day, it's investing hard work in yourself, and the end result makes you not only stronger, but oftentimes makes you more valuable and useful. Uh, and it teaches you a different type of confidence. There's a certain type of confidence that comes with different forms of training, and I would say with strength training, it gives you that confidence of not necessarily the bravado and ego because you might look a certain way, but that confidence of you know what you are physically capable of, right? You know that you're strong. You know that you're strong. Uh, and it will, again, it will change who you are in certain ways. You'll be a different person if you spend several years doing serious strength training. Uh, but the point of it is, at the end of the day, is that it's the hard work itself involved towards a meaningful goal will change your view of yourself. It'll change your view of yourself. It can do a lot for things like low self-esteem. It can do a lot for having lack of discipline. Uh, it can do a lot for people who don't feel valuable or they don't feel secure in some way. Uh, again, it works wonders for these things. Uh, and it's something that can't be downplayed when we talk about this. There, There is a value to you as an individual in gaining strength and doing strength training beyond the immediate result of your getting stronger. Um, there's a very, very powerful psychological and character building element to it. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.